Here's one of the biggest problems I see with people planting trees is they don't take the stake and ties off soon enough. So this one here, I'll just remove this stake and you can just see in there a little bit of the tie, a little bit of it there. And what's happened is it strangled the tree and that bit is, uh, is broken off and died. And Today we're doing thinning in this woodland. We're just taking out the dead stuff. And there's so many trees that have been planted here and they've had the stakes left on. And the, the tie has just strangled the tree and killed it, which is just, it's a complete waste of money, time and resource to, to do something like that. So number one tip, if you're gonna plant a tree and use stake and ties to support it, when it's established, give it a couple of years, give it a shake, make sure it's firmly rooted in, and then remove the, um, remove the stake and tie because it's not doing any good. Sometimes you see well-established trees and the trees are holding the stake up. It's way too long. And also, these rabbit guards, I'll get them off. They stop the animals chewing at the, uh, the bark when the trees are young, but again, they get left on. Cause a problem for the tree when they're older. So arguably, this tree should come down. So I'll remove that dead bit there, which is where the, uh, the tie strangled it and all died back. But the crown goes up there and back on itself. And really, that's not gonna that's not gonna heal. I can't really take it any lower without damage, risk damaging this. So I'll leave it for the time being. But it's kind of like, what's the point? It's not going to heal properly and grow properly, it's all contorted. So in the end it'll probably end up coming out, but it's still a viable tree at the moment. It's still got habitat value and all kinds of ecological value, so we're leaving it for the time being, but at some point it will come out. And this is one of my pet problems, well, pet peeves I guess. I don't like that phrase, but this is one of my annoyances with planting schemes. People spend so much money planting all this, this woodland. And it looks nice, but then they don't go through it and there's no aftercare. You, they just plant the trees and leave them and consider it job done. But you know, if you're gonna plant trees and state them, you need to maintain them. I mean, this woodland's kind of, it's been left way too long. You should have a, a thinning process, arguably, where you take out the, the weaker species and allow the other ones to come out. Another example here, this tree's been here that long that yeah, the root, this has gone rotten. And uh, it's already split this just by the expansion of the bark. And you can see what kind of damage it does. Let's take that off there so that tree can breathe. Come on, get some life in this thing. You're not over yet. You're not done for yet. We can save you. There we go, but just look at the damage it's done. It's been on there way too long. And it's not just here, you see it, see it everywhere. People's gardens, landscaping schemes across the country. They go and plant trees, they leave the, uh, the tree guards on the bottom and uh, the stakes in. It's no good, it's no good. If you're gonna plant trees, you need to go back after a couple of years and, and take, those, uh, take those stakes off and the ties.